Bogey and Wojo, 97.1. It is Friday. Oh, I'm so We're nervous. We're heading into a big football weekend. Oh, Why no. are you nervous? Because you're running it here now. What's the wrong pigs? with that? The pig segment. We'll be fine. We're going to be in a ditch momentarily. Here we oh. go. Please. It's time for the picks. The moment everybody waits for every week. Let's go! I'm going to take the points on the road here. 4-0 against the spread. He starts to come, and then he pulls out. This is a really thickly built guy. I don't know what to say. Those are the picks. Brought to you by Bill Brown Ford. All right, as you guys normally do, we start with college football. A huge game with playoff implications in New York. Notre Dame laying 10 and a half points as they take on a Syracuse team that can put up points with the best of them. We start with Hatchet. I have a theme here with my college picks to see if the listeners can get it. Former Hawaii two-way player Dino Babers is going to take his Mm. team in the snow and beat Notre Dame. I'm going Syracuse here. Outright? Wow. wow. Outright. Syracuse with a black head coach and a black quarterback hatchet. <laughs> yes. There you go. That means we know who Wojo's going the, with. No, this game uh, is got age. This game is going to be very tight. It's at Yankee Stadium, excuse me. And the cold will keep the score down. Syracuse will cover. Notre Dame will win by about six. Who said that? Wojo said that? Yes, but I we said know that. you'll be rooting for Notre Dame. Sully. Well, I'm going to do this for my dad. He texts me almost every day about Notre Notre Dame, although he hates, and I agree with him, hates the pinstripe jerseys for Notre Dame. But I'm going to pick Notre Dame for him. Mm. Yeah, as I said, a Syracuse team that can certainly score the football. I'm not going to be crazy enough to take Syracuse outright like Hatchet. No. But yes, give me those 10 and a half points against Notre Dame. All right, in Texas, Iowa State, a pretty good Iowa State team, going to take on the Longhorns. I can't Texas. do it. A two and a half point favorite at home. Hatchet. This might not make sense to you out there, listeners, but former Texas QB Major Wright, Major Applewhite, went off on Ed Oliver yesterday. Oh, because of that, I'm going Iowa State. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that was pretty the good. Cyclones. Well, Joe. Second um, deck. Yeah, thank you. My sister lives in Texas, so. I'm taking Texas. Oh, nice. That's yeah. a great story. Good uh-huh. pick. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, no, I said Wojo, not Sully. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, actually, I'm taking Iowa State. You know why? <laughs> they have one of the best young coaches in college football, Matt Campbell. Watch out for him for a big-time job. Purdue? Okay, mm-hmm. now the real Sully. I don't want another season of this, man. Not the alien Sully, the real Sully. Um, got a great friend. His name's Jay. He actually streams oh, the show see. in Dallas all the time. He streams from Dallas. He lives nice there. City. I'm going to pick Texas. Give me Texas at home. Moving on. Clemson, all they do is cover. Duke Mm. heading to take on Clemson. Clemson, a four-touchdown favorite in this one. To hatch it, we go. Oh, my gosh. This this is so tight. It is so tight. (laughs) Bama wide receiver Debo Sweeney is taking on Zion Williamson and Duke. No, no. I'm sorry. (laughs) They're taking on the other Duke. I'm sorry. Clemson all day. You know, I almost always take Clemson to cover the spread. But this Duke team is no. sneaky okay. No. Giving me 28 points, I'm taking 28 yes. points. Wow. Give me to the I want Michigan men. Uh, I, listen to, <laughs> I listen to a lot of Mike Studd music. He went to Duke. I'll take Duke. Incredible uh, analysis. Mm. Clemson by 60. Uh, Michigan mm. State. An interesting one out in Lincoln. Nebraska, a team that's figured it out recently. Michigan State uh-huh. playing one and a half against the Cornhuskers. Hatchet. This is going to be, be an interesting game here. Former Huskers great, QB great, Scott Frost Finito. taking on ailing MSU. I have to go Nebraska here because they're the home team. Mm. I will say I'm asking this. just to be a little respectful in this whole process. All right, okay? Matthew. Enough, Jeez, Patricia. God, we'll get to right. you. I will say this. Nebraska is one of the hottest three and seven teams you'll ever see. <laughs> just about Their that. offense is coming around with Adrian Martinez. Tough spot here for Michigan State. I will take the Cornhuskers. Ooh, to mm. sell it. This is a really thickly built guy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, my girlfriend went to state. Uh, she's actually going to have a lot of other Sparties at my house this weekend, so I'll pick state. You sound upset about that, that one, Sully. Boyfriend, no, boyfriend of the year, Nebraska. They're going to be able to score. 
They almost did it at Ohio State. I think being at home mm. is the difference there in this one. Give me Nebraska in a oh. sneaky good game. All right. Alcohol might be a factor. Everyone's favorite Michigan Wolverines. It's senior day at Indiana. Wojo's going to be intoxicated. Michigan yes. favored by 28 at home against Indiana. Hatch it. Time for this state's pro team to play. <laughs> Michigan alum Jim Harbaugh will lead his team against his brother-in-law school, Tom Crean. I'm sorry, Tom Crean's not there anymore. Oh. He lost his job. Let's go, Michigan. Michigan has not lost in Ann Arbor to Indiana in 61 years. That's Everyone remembers story. Anthony Carter. This <laughs> is revenge. It's senior day. It's blue-haired senior day. Michigan Woo! pounds Indiana. <laughs> wow, that's a great story. Thank you. My brother goes to Michigan. I'll take Michigan. <laughs> Very Your simple. Wow. Michigan? I'm going to go with Michigan because they practice indoors. Uh, to the NFL. <laughs> oh, my God. How do you pick the Lions? I, how are the Lions going to win this game? Is that good enough logic You're for you such guys? a cheap bastard. <laughs> Harbaugh's a smart man. Yeah. All right. We'll start with the hottest team in the NFL right now. The Saints playing host to the Eagles. Saints favored by eight. Hatchet. Texting. I want to get my thing so bad. Oh, man. Whoa. My trip starting tomorrow? <laughs> you might. Yeah. Um, the, Saints, the Saints are going to use the stepping stool of the f- defending champs, Eagles. They're on their way to the Super Bowl in New Orleans. Let's go, New Orleans. Who dat? Wow. Who dat? Who dat? Who dat? Who love them Saints. Um, I keep thinking the Eagles, the champs are going to turn it on. Now I'm thinking they're not. They're four and five. Give me the Saints. <laughs> thing sucks over to sully i'm gonna take former offensive coordinator for the lions joe lombardi and the saints oh. <laughs> this one to me is a difference it has the cowboys beating the eagles last week written mm. all over it mm. desperation setting in but the saints are too damn good give me the saints by 14 uh oh. let's go to game number oh. two monday night football oh. now out in los angeles no That's longer in mexico city field condition issues the rams playing host to the Kansas City Chiefs. Rams by three and a half. Hatchet. The Rams have been all over the country practicing in Colorado Springs. Not sure if they're going to Mexico City. I know they're great, but I think that hurts this team, and I think the Chiefs get it all day this weekend. Whoa. Breaks I- another oh, attack. Oh, pound, town, pound, town. I heard the Rams were even practicing outside in Allen Park the other day. <laughs> They've been everywhere. That's not smart. The Rams are L.A. media t- must be going nuts that they're practicing outside sorry, here in Detroit. Actually, the Chiefs are 8-2 and two against the spread. They'll cover the spread. Give me the Chiefs. Sully? Yeah, game moved back to L.A., as you guys said. Last time I was in L.A., I hiked in West Hollywood. It's called Runyon Canyon. Beautiful hike, mm. beautiful views. So I'm John take Runyon LA. there. Was that's, John Runyon there? That's <laughs> what they call it, hiking now. Huh? Chiefs okay. have the X factor in the advantage in this one. I, You can hear Coach Brian Billick break yes. it down on yeah. Sunday on yeah. Game Day Uncensored. Mm. I think Kareem Uncensored. Hunt is the difference. The Rams can't stop the run. Give me KC in a tight one. All right, to Jacksonville. The Steelers <laughs> looking to avenge that playoff disaster last year favored by five we in might Jacksonville. Lose the Browns. Wow. you know where we're starting with this one we don't have to worry about the Browns this game <laughs> you know how the professional team in this town has a revenge tour of Michigan Wolverines right now yeah, yeah. the Steelers this week starting the second half of the year oh. are starting their revenge tour against the Jags Steeler Nation rise up oh. let's beat the Jags <laughs> A lot no, of revenge tours going no. on right now. <laughs> wow. The Jaguars defense is finally going to rise up and overcome Blake Bortles. Give me the Jaguars to win outright. Wow. It's set time. Uh-huh. I'm going to be nice to David just because I want him to dance for the next pick. So I'm going to pick your Steelers for you. Oh, that's nice. He's trying to butter him up. I love it. Uh, give me, give me Pittsburgh. They might be the best team in the AFC. Mm. Say that again. I'm not going to say that again. Uh, I don't know why this game is on here. Giants <laughs> at home. They welcome in Fitz Magic. Giants lane one and a half. Hatch Here we go. The mu- oh, music is God. beginning to play. Come on, David. You I always dance. I don't think this game is worth dancing for. I agree. Come on, A surprising David. win for the Giants on Monday Night Football. Short week. Eli. You know what? Just for you all. Giants win the game. I'm dancing, baby. Here we go, baby. <laughs> Yes! Go. Yes! Woo-hoo. That made me-
made my whole weekend. Love the oh, dance. Uh, Jason Pierre Paul or Paul Pierre, or whatever he's going by these days, plays for the Bucks. has eight sacks, will have eight more sacks <laughs> against his former team. Give me Tampa Bay. <laughs> It just yeah. might. So if you're ever in New York City, 235th Rooftop Bar, it's fantastic. Great mm. views of the Empire State Building. Then across the street, the Nomad Bar. I was there in August. Really, really cool. I'm going to pick the Giants. What, what are they, like $20 cocktails? It's, it's Manhattan. It's the same, so yeah. same price as LCA. Give yeah. me the Giants. Who cares? Uh, the final game. The Detroit Lions, oh. they had a rough week practicing out in the snow. I don't know how they're going to respond. <laughs> Panthers coming in, a team that got embarrassed on Thursday night football by those same Steelers that Hatchet's been talking about. Panthers favored by four and a half at Ford Field. Hatchet. Can this be the final game of the Lions franchise history? <laughs> uh, the Lions yeah. have prepared very well this week for this game, <laughs> but because of the embarrassing statement from Patricia, I'm going Panthers all day. Panthers! <laughs> All day. Let's go. That's that? a Panther. You haven't picked the Lions once this year. They don't deserve me. He Can also didn't mention Cam here? Newton, the black quarterback. Whoa. Uh, the Lions at least will be prepared for the long walk from the bus <laughs> in the cold into Ford's Field. It won't be enough. Cam Newton is rolling. Give me the Panthers. Sully. I don't like all the hate this week for Patricia and Praxin Outdoors. I'm going to give him a favor here and pick the Lions. <laughs> oh, how Doing nice of you. I'm sure he appreciates that. Uh, Lions lose their fourth in a row. They're an embarrassment. Give me the Panthers by a couple of touchdowns. That's the picks. We did all right. Oh, yeah, right? we did fantastic. I thought. I think right. I did all right. 97-1. 97-1.